Hey guys, welcome to Absolutely Effing Delicious. Today for lunch I'm making my outstanding Italian potato cakes. This dish is stunning and it's like nothing else you've ever had before. Please watch right till the end and let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, if it's your first time here, please hit the like and subscribe button. Right, over to our potatoes. Give these a rough chop and place into boiling water. I prefer leaving the skins on as that's where all the nutrients are. However, if I was at the restaurant, we would have to peel these for a smoother final product. Personally, I like them this way. Make sure you salt your water and give everything a good stir. Right, we're gonna chop one small red onion and half a red pepper. We don't have to be too precise here as these will be getting a good saute. In with some good quality olive oil and straight in with our chopped ingredients. Onions, peppers and olive oil. As soon as they hit the pan, it just works. Right, we need to add one clove of garlic, finely chopped and straight into the pan. And straight in with some seasoning. I'm going in with a hit of salt and pepper and about half a teaspoon of some smoked paprika. Right, let's give that a good stir. As soon as that paprika combines with the hot oil, it's gonna impart all that flavor into our peppers and onions. And that creates a background of smokiness and depth in flavor. And don't forget, we've got that garlic in there also, doing its thing. Always take your time, you can never rush a good saute. Right, I've chopped up some fresh spring onions and I'm gonna hit the pan with about three tablespoons of sweet corn. Just by looking at these colors, we already know this is gonna taste outstanding. Right, let's turn our heat off and add our chopped spring onions. We don't want these to cook. Then chop a few leaves of fresh basil and add to the pan. Stir the ingredients together and let the basil infuse its flavor with the other ingredients. Right, while we're waiting for our potatoes to finish boiling, let's slice and cube some medium cheddar cheese. We want nice, thick, bite-sized cubes Leave them to one side for now. Moving on to our dip. Very simply add two teaspoons of good quality sun-dried tomato pesto with equal parts mayonnaise and mix together. This is simple, delicious and it takes two seconds. Right, our potatoes are boiled and strained Let's season with salt, pepper, and some dried oregano, and start mashing these together. For small quantities like this, I always use the back of a fork or a back of a spoon to mash my potatoes. It's easier and they always come out smooth. Once your potatoes are mashed, go ahead and place them into a mixing bowl. Here I'm using the back of my spoon to ensure we have no lumps. Right, let's add our beautiful saute into the bowl. This looks so appetizing. And at this stage, we wanna give everything a really good mix and let those ingredients combine with our potato. Once everything is combined, add two teaspoons of your pesto, followed by our cubes of cheese. Now fold everything into your mixture once again. Right, 
Right, it's time to add our plain flour. Sift two tablespoons of plain flour into the mash and give everything one final mix. At this stage, the mixture should be slightly doughy, but still soft and fluffy. If it's too doughy, it'll become a dumpling, which isn't what we want. Add a drizzle of olive oil to a medium temperature pan and use your hands to form your patties. Add your patties to your pan and let them cook for about four minutes per side or until golden brown. Be gentle with them when flipping as one side will still be slightly soft. As they cook, you'll start to see that beautiful cheese oozing just slightly out of the sides. That's exactly what we want. Right, let's plate up. I'm serving with a salad to cut through all those rich Italian flavours. Then top each patty with our red pesto dip. That looks epic. Right, let's get stuck in. Guys, you've got to try these, they're outstanding. We've got soft mashed potato, nuggets of melted cheese, and a smoky kick coming from our paprika. Italian potato cakes. Absolutely effing delicious. 